Hey Wayne, this is Rebecca Lane again. I got a little cut off, so I want to talk through a little bit more of your video. Um, <laughs> so this is part two. All right, so in part two, uh, again, really beautiful image. This is a little funky. Uh, I, what I would recommend is, is exporting this entire slideshow into iMovie and then recording voiceover on top of that. That works a little bit better. Um, nice job citing your image on the slide. Let's see if you cited your image at the end also great so you've got a references page so you're doing really well with attribution nice work so let's go back to this So one of the things I'm listening for in your introduction is I'm listening for how this personally affects you, what's your personal connection. Um, I'm looking for what, what, I'm looking for your preview statement. I'm looking for all of those things that you can find in the reading and that you can find in, on this website over here. It's like, what? Why do I care? What is your preview statement? What's your thesis? And you've gotten your thesis pretty pretty clearly, right? You've talked about that you're going to talk about compositing. Two main types of compositors. One is image and the other is video. Image compositors work with still images, taking elements from different sources. And so nice use of definition. And you've filled, the, you've filled your slide with your image. This is a good start. And again, I love how this is attributed. Uh, try to make your text a little bit more of a graphic element. So if you can use larger text or different colors of font. See, you've already set up using white font over here. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're continuing with that color trend up here. Or you can, um, and if you do, if you do mix things up, that's totally fine. But you just have to introduce it earlier on than in these slides. Okay, so make sure that your pictures are telling more of your story. I don't know what this picture has to do with video editing software. It's a pretty picture, but it doesn't really tell the rest of your story. So make sure that you are really choosing images that will help you. Also, uh, really make sure that you are filling your slide with, uh, fill your slide with the image. Really try to make sure your text is a graphic element. It's it's intentional. So when you look at the, some of these sample slides, you'll see that they've they've made the text really large. They've got some variation here, and it feels like it's on purpose. It's big enough to say, "Hey, I'm supposed to be here." This title right here doesn't say, "Hey, I'm supposed to be here." It kind of says, "Well, I'm kind of a label." So really make sure that you are are intentional about that. All right, Wayne, so you're off to a great start. I've, you've got some tips that I think you can work on, and I'm looking forward to seeing your industry professional speech. Let me know if you have questions. Talk to you soon. Bye.